All right. What I want to do next is share with you some different ways of thinking about aspects of this relationship with your environment, with your reality. But first, I want to ask you, where do all of your human relationships exist? Where are they? In your mind? It's one way to think about it. Do your relationships actually exist out there? I mean, if somebody went and deleted your memories of a relationship, would the relationship still exist? That's a good question. If you didn't remember that you had a relationship, do you have a relationship? Who thinks yes? Who thinks no? Ah, oh, we have a lot of confused then. Not sure. <laughs> That's good, though. That's good. I do, I do think it's helpful to see it that way. If you think of your relationships as existing in your mind, as existing in your thoughts, you could say it's in your heart, it's in your being. It's within you, these relationships. Okay? At least the human aspect of these connections. We could say there's maybe a spiritual connection out there somewhere, okay? but the human aspect of how you relate to each other and how you connect and what you experience, what you perceive, that is entirely within you. Even, even this room, the sense perceptions you have, all that's being processed within your mind, the light and the sound. This whole experience is really just a simulation that's happening in your mind, an interpretation of signals. And on the one hand, we can say we can turn off your reality by turning off those signals, you know, putting you in, say, a sensory deprivation chamber. But on the other hand, if we simply stop your mind's ability to process the signals, that also would turn off your experience of reality. Now, if your relationships exist in your mind or in your being, then who actually controls these relationships? You. And we have this tendency to think of relationships as something between us and something out there in reality. But think about it. Your whole experience of what's out there is actually in here. All your memories, all your thoughts, all your beliefs, all your experiences get processed in here or in here. And if that's the case, if it's all internal, if your entire experience of relationships can be thought of as completely internal, then you have the ability to transform them from within without needing the permission of anything out there. Okay? And particularly with respect to your relationship with life itself. I'm not suggesting necessarily you can go around controlling other people, but I am suggesting that certainly your relationship with life itself, which is just a concept, is entirely internal. And you somehow came up with words to describe this relationship, which is simply imaginary. What exactly is that? Can you point to your relationship with life? Where is it? Is it under the table over there? Is it you know, in the back of the room? Is it floating up in space somewhere? That relationship is entirely within you. So if you are creating the idea, and I do mean creating the idea, not observing the idea. If you are creating the idea that your relationship with life is based on conflict, struggle, frustration, disappointment, apathy, indifference, Life has no choice but to say yes to that. No choice. It must say yes to that because that's what you've created inside you. There is no outer force that can, that can knock that out. Does that make sense to some degree? A little bit hard to get your mind around that perhaps? Okay. So if you think about your relationships as entirely internal, then you have the ability, you have the power to transform your relationships entirely from within. You don't need anyone else's permission. You don't need anyone to agree with you. You can simply do it. And it is simply a choice. Remember when Johnny mentioned that happiness is a choice? Okay, well, even more broadly than that, your entire relationship with life itself is a choice. Okay? It's not an observation. We think that it's an observation. But if what we're seeing out there is really entirely processed in here, then we're not merely observing. We're actually creating that. Okay? And if you create the experience that life is stressful and, and a struggle, that is what you will see. That is what will show up. And if you create the experience that life is abundant and rich and flowing, that is what will show up. 